morning. Uh, this is Hamish. I'm uh, just heading out for nine holes, uh, having a go at my scorecard, and I thought I'd take you along with me so I can show you uh, just the little details I have to do just to get a little bit better and how it works for me, and it will work for you too. So, tune in. Probably the biggest thing I've noticed talking to people about this uh, game 360 that I'm doing is that just understanding the 100 meter marker. Um, if I'm playing a par four, it's just simply can I get inside it for two. So uh, just knowing the handicap you're on is pretty much the key. And I'm just playing the whole 11 now and I'm just arrived and actually hit my three on down inside the 100. So I'm in under regulation. So now I'm going to see if I can get down in three. See how we go. So um, I did make uh, down in three on my last hole. So that was good. So I got a tick for that. Um, now I'm hit three iron down 11, uh, 12 here so I've got about 175 to the hole so for me in order for me to get a tick from here I actually just need to get inside the 100 so even though I have the length to get it to the hole I'm still thinking about where I can place it to make my next shot easier so we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so this is my approach shot that from 175, I left it to the left and I took a club that left me short of this bunker and I keep left because we all know that bunker on 12 was, sticks out and gets you so I made sure I missed it short and left and now I'm going to back my short game to get it up and down. I'm on hole 14 now, so I'm looking down the fairway and I'm going to treat it as I've got goalposts to hit between. So people see it as a quite narrow fairway, but it's about 30 metres wide. So I'm going to pretend I'm on the range and just follow the process and yeah, try and get my three iron between there. So let's see how we go. Overall, it wasn't my best strike. Um, got between the goalposts, which is all I'm really after to learn how to score properly because. If I get it to a certain distance, I can really eliminate shots and really play to the score that I'm aiming to shoot for today. So let's have a go at our fairway shot now. So here's my update through 14 holes. You may ask why am I using a Noosa Springs scorecard? Well, sometimes you don't remember to bring the scorecard, so I thought I'd show you how that that's simply entering the scoring zone, which is 100 meters on every hole due to the par, and then that's the down did I get down in three shots and uh, just simply that's what you want to get on top of first of all when you're entering this program. Alright so I'm driving down 15 and 15 is a hole that we get a lot of decisions that we have to make and what I've decided on my decision today is that I'm just going to hit five iron off the black tees and get myself into position. I've had a terrible shot but hey I haven't lost a shot and what I want to take from that is my goal is to shoot two under to one over, that's me personally for each nine holes and if I stay within that I'm good to go. So this hole actually brings out a few more opportunities to make a high score so just by simply laying up on this hole, taking my par and for some people it's taking their bogey or double bogey, it's a good idea on 15, it sets up your round and I just see I, I do get a lot of questions about this hole so please give it a go it's um it's about scoring and putting 18 holes together that's going to make you really happy with your game one of the things i really love about this system is that it starts to build your confidence and it's raining out here today a bit of a drizzle but i'm feeling good with my game i've i started off poorly hit a hook into the trees but i stuck to my game plan and now i've got 135 meters to a par five for my third shot and my timing, I'm feeling my timing coming back. So let's go ahead and hit some a shot between the goalposts and just put the process in place. Right, not ideal. I end up making a mistake. But I can trace it back to losing track of what side of the green I wanted to miss it on. And I just forgot my focus on really favouring the left hand side of my goalpost, which wasn't a big target. It was probably only 30, oh, probably 50 feet. So I ended up in the bunker and I've got a a tricky shot um, but we move on we sort of play to a safe position and we get out of here all right I'm on the side of 16 I've missed the green but it's in a good place 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 9 iron and bump it into that fringe short of it and just it's a very safe shot that should get me pretty Walking up to it nothing flash but it got me within the four feet that I was after I'm a bit long on the 17th and I know I've talked about using rescue a lot around the greens nine irons but this is downhill so using a putter is a very good idea all right so I'm coming to the end of my nine holes on one over par right down 18 um, pretty happy with the fact that I'm able to stick to my play most of the day and I just know it's the days that I can do it more often and earlier that um, the scores will start to come off so working on a, the highest score I can possibly shoot is uh, what you shoot is a really good way to get started to build your confidence okay so I hope this has helped